Well, hello. I wanted to give you guys answers to the practice quiz, I guess. So um, anyway, let's, uh, let's do this. OK. So here it says, uh, it's asking, what proportion of elephants weigh less than 6,500 pounds? And in the previous part of the problem, it says, the mean weight of elephants is 6,000 and has a standard deviation of 320 pounds. So we know that 6,000 is our mu, and 320 is our sigma. So here, if I draw a little picture, I'm going to put 6,000 in the middle. I'm going to draw a cutoff at 6,500. And I'm interested in the area that's less than 6,500. So that would be the area to the left. So our first step is to make a z-score. And I'm going to do 6,500 minus 6,000 divided by uh, 320, our mm -hmm. sigma. And so punching this in, I get 6,500 minus 6,000. Difference of 500 divided by 320. I get a z-score of 1.5625. Now when we look this up in our table, we have to round off to two decimal places. So my z-score is going to be 1.56. Oops. I go to my table, and I look up 1.56. That, uh, I'm having trouble here. Uh, 1.56 is going to be this value, 0 0.9406. And so that is going to be my answer. So area to the left of z, z equal to 1.56 is. I forgot my answer, 0 0.9406. OK, and that's our answer for number one. OK, what proportion of elephants are between 5,600 and 6,500 pounds? So the next problem. So the, uh, the next problem is asking how much is in between 6,500 and uh, 5,600. OK, and so we're asking for the area in between. And so the answer is going to be the area to the left of 6,500 minus the area to the left of 5,600. Okay. Now we already have the answer to this part. We know that this answer is 0 0.9406, and that's coming from the previous problem. So let's just find the area to the left of 5,600. So here our z-score is going to be 5,600 minus 6,000 divided by 3,200, or I'm mean 320. So I'm going to just write 5,600 minus 6,000 divided by 320. I get negative 1.25. Okay, And so when I look this up in the z table, I'm going to look up z equal to negative 1.25. I have 0 0.1056. 0 0.1056 is my answer. So the area to the left here. This area is equal to 0 0.1056. So the area between is going to be 0 0.9406 minus 0 0.1056. 0 0.9046 minus 0 0.1056. Oops, I messed that up. 9406 minus 0 0.1056, and I get the area in between is 0 0.835. And so that is our answer. Oops, that's our answer to this problem 0 0.835, number two. Great. Okay, the next problem What proportion of elephants weigh over 
5,800 pounds. Okay, so let's uh, take a look here. 6,000, we're going to go up to 5,800, and we want to know how much is over. So we're shading the area to the right. Okay, again, like these other problems, we're going to find our z-score. 5,800 pounds minus the mean of 6,000 divide by our standard deviation of 320. We get uh, 5,800 minus 6,000 divided by 320. I get a z-score of negative 0.625. So again, we have to round off to two decimal places, so I'm going to round off to negative 0.63. And we want the area to the right. If we look at the negative 0.63, the table will always give us the area to the left. So at negative 0 0.63, 0 0.60123, I meant 0.2643, that's the area to the left of negative 0.63. The area to the left is 0.2643. We want the area to the right. The area to the right is going to be 1 minus this quantity. So I get 1 minus 0.2643 in the area to the right, which is how much I want, 0.7357, okay? So those are our answers so far. Okay, continuing on. It says, what is the weight of an elephant in the 10th percentile? So in this case, we are given a percentile. So we know that the area to the left over here, this is equal to 10%. So we're going to go into our table looking for the z that gives 10%. Gives the area equal to 10%. So we're going to try to find the area closest to 10%. We're going to look through our entire z table, and we've got to look through all of these values, and we see that the value closest to 10% is this one right here, 0 0.1003. And that corresponds to a z of negative 1.2, and it's in the column 0 0.08. So the area that gives the z that gives the area of 10% is going to be z is equal to negative 1.28, okay? So we want to know what is the weight of an elephant in the 10th percentile. Well, we're going to just take that, plug that into our x minus mu over sigma. We know this is the formula for z. We'll plug in the values we know. Negative 1.28 is equal to x minus the mean mu, which is 6,000. Our standard deviation is 320. Okay. We're going to solve for x. So multiply both sides by 320. 320 times negative 1.28 is equal to x minus 6,000. Okay, we'll add 6,000 to both sides. Okay, and so my final answer for x is going to be 6,000 plus 320 times negative 1.28, negative 1.28. And I get 5,590.4. 5, 5590.4. This is the weight of an elephant in the 10th percentile. Okay, number five is uh, very similar. And number five asks, what is the weight of an elephant in the 82nd percentile? So over here, we want the weight over here to be as close to 0.82, the area. So we want the z that gives an area equal to 0.82. So again, we're going to go, go through the entire z table, trying to find the area closest to 82%. So as we go through, we're scanning. OK, 0 0.8186, 0 0.8212, these two are the values that are closest. I would say this one is closer, because this one's about 14 ten thousandths, this one's only 12 ten thousandths. So we have a z-score of 0 0.92. 0 0.z equal to 0 0.92 gives an area of 
All right, so we'll plug that in to z equal to x minus mu over sigma, solving for x, our unknown quantity. So we multiply both sides by 320. 320 times 0.92 is equal to x minus 6,000. We'll add 6,000 to both sides. Okay, and so our x is 6,000 plus 320 times 0 0.92. Okay, so 6,000 plus 320 times 0 0.92, 6,294. So there is our answer for number 5. Okay. Continuing on with questions 6 to 9, um, it says we're going to play a game of chance. The probability you win each time you play is 0.25, and you decide to play the game 10 times. Okay, so this is binomial. Um, I guess it should say somewhere in there that the games are independent of each other, but um, I'll, I'll say that, that that's the case right now. Okay, so number 6 says what is the mean number of times you win after playing 10 games. So in this case, this is just, we have to know that the mean is equal to the formula n times p, okay? This is just a, a formula that you, you need to know for the binomial case. And uh, as we look through this, um, we see that p, the probability, is 0.25. And it says we're playing 10 games, so our n is 10. So the mean number of games is 10 times 0.25, we are expected to win two and a half games for number number six. This is the mean number of games, or mean number of times we will win after playing 10 games. Okay, what is the standard deviation is uh, what number seven asks. So the standard deviation, again, this is just a formula that we've got to know for the binomial, and that's going to be n times p times one minus p. So it's just a matter of plugging in these values. So we're going to have 10 for n times p, which is 0 0.25, times 1 minus p, 1 minus 0.25. So this is what? 10 times 0 0.25 times 0.75, and we're going to take the square root of that. So I'm going to hit square root, and in the parentheses I'll type in 10 times 0.25, times 0.75, and I'll close off the parentheses, I get a number 1.369. Okay, so these two problems I think are really uh, straightforward and easy, it's just a matter of memorizing n times p and the standard deviation n times p times 1 minus p, and, and I apologize, I don't like to give you guys a whole lot to memorize all the time, but that's just the case for, for these things. Okay, and for number eight and number nine, we'll actually solve these. What's the probability you win exactly two games out of 10? So in this case, we've got n is 10, p is 0.25, and here we're trying to win two games, so x is two, okay? So the uh, answer is gonna be the number of arrangements times, you know, the probability of, of, of getting whatever we have. So the number of arrangements that we have for winning two games out of 10 is going to be 10 choose 2. So uh, let me just actually say the number of arrangements is 10 choose 2, and there are 45, um, 45 ways this could happen, OK? So we've got 45 arrangements. And then each arrangement, if we think about it, we have to win twice and we have to lose eight times, right? So win two times. And if we play it eight games, we have to lose eight times. Okay, the probability of winning is 0.25, so this has to happen two times, so it's going to be 0.25 squared. And then the probability of losing will then be 1 minus 0.25, or 0.75. And this has to happen eight times. Okay, 
So our answer is going to be 45 arrangements. Each of these arrangements will have two wins at a probability of 0.25 each and eight losses at a probability of 0.75 each. So I'm going to have 45 times 0.25 raised to the second power times 0.75 raised to the eighth power. And that probability is 0.28156. Point two eight one five. Well, I guess I should round that off to one five six. Uh, we'll include the last decimal there. Okay, but uh, just a lot there. Okay, so around around twenty eight percent. Okay, what's the probability? You know, about twenty eight percent. Okay. Okay, what's the probability you win more than two games out of ten? Okay, so if we list off all of the possible outcomes, we can win z zero games. We can win one game, we can win two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten games. And, and more than two is the probability of winning three through ten. That's, that's going to be a lot to calculate, okay? So what we could do is we could subtract off the probability of winning zero, one, or two. So we're going to have the probability of winning more than two is equal to 1 minus the probability of winning 0 or 1 or 2. Okay, So the probability of winning 0 is going to be 10 choose 0 times, well, winning 0 times 0.25 raised to the 0, which means we had to lose 0.75 with probability 0.75 and that had to happen 10 times, plus the probability of winning one time. So that's going to be 10 choose 1 times 0.25 raised to the 1 times 0.75 raised to the 9, because we have to win with probability 0.25. That has to happen one time. We have to lose with probability 0.75. We have to lose 9 times. Okay, And lastly, we will have 10 choose 2 times 0.25 raised to the second power times 0.75 raised to the eighth power. Now we had to solve this problem in the previous section, and we know that this part is 0.281568. Okay, so let's uh, figure out these other probabilities. So we got 10 choose 1 is 10 in our in our reference, 10 choose 1 times 0.25 raised to the 1 power, which is just going to be 0.25, times 0.75 raised to the ninth power. So I've got 10 times 0.25 times 0.75 raised to the ninth, And this number is 0.187712, if I decide to keep all those decimal points. Okay, And then lastly, 10 choose 0 is going to be 1. 0.25 raised to the 0 is also 1. So I've got 1 times 1, which is 1, times 0.75 raised to the 10th power. And so this is 0.056314. Okay, so let's add all of these up. I got 0 0.056314. Oops. So we got 0 0.0. 56314 plus 0 0.187712 plus 0.281568. We add these up. This totals up to 0.525594. Okay? That's the probability of 0, 1, or 2 wins. So the probability of more than 2 of greater than 2 wins is equal to 1 minus 0 0.525594. So let's do 1 minus this value. And I get 0 0.4744. And I'm just going to round it off there. 0 0.4744. And there is our answer for that last problem.
Okay, I hope this was helpful. Good luck as you guys study, and good luck on the quiz tomorrow.